Well, welcome to Northern Ants. My name is Mark, and we are jumping into F Farming Simulator 22. I was playing and realized I was trying to do harvesting some uh, straw or hay and didn't have my Follow Me mod. So we're going to go through this right now. We got the Farmers Farming Simulator 22 Mods dot com, and you can go down and you will see the Follow Me mod. It's pretty vital for when you're doing any kind of like harvesting and making hay and things like that. Here you're going to have some pictures of different uh, settings and it's kind of got a description of how to use it. Uh, it does have in the game too in a little while as where you're kind of playing around with it I'll kind of show you what you need to do which I learned at the same time. First you want to go down here and click on this download button which is going to bring you over to this page. And it's going to have, uh, we're going to go back one page because this is the page, it comes to this page first and you're going to do this free downloads button. You click on that. And it's going to bring you to this page. You're going to want to go down here to download file and that's going to bring up the download page. It's going to come down here. I already downloaded it though. And it's going to come over to if you have WinZip or whatever f program you have for unfold, um, unzipping files. And it's, you're going to want to click over so you can see this page. And then you're going to go down here to your files. And for me, I go into my documents file under this PC. And you go down to my games. And then find Farming Simulator 22. Click on it and then you're going to have a mods file. If you don't have any mods in it yet, you can make a new one, uh, do new folder, and make a mods file. You want to click on that, and it's going to show you what you have inside here. And now, what you're going to do is go over to your win file, grab it, and just drag it over right into the file, and it's going to put it right here. It's going to put it into your mods file. Now, you can close these things out. Let's close this up. and then go to your FS22 okay now we're gonna wait for that to load up now you're gonna to go to, to downloadable and it's gonna show you what you have for um uh, different mods that you have installed if you go under your um, downloadable content you can see that it was in there. Now you're going to go to your save games. And you can go down and find where it's at. Uh, where is it? Oh, there's the snowmobile. I don't have that clicked right now because it's not winter in the game. It's May. No, oh, I didn't see it. Okay, let's go back up. Uh, easiest way to look for ones that are not clicked. Because it should be in there as long as it downloaded correctly. As you can see, these are all the mods that I use. Okay, here it is. Follow me mod. Okay, click on it. And now you can click start. Okay, we're going to let that play out first. Okay, to figure out how to use it, you go down into this menu. Hit escape and it'll take you to the, the menus. This is like the second to the last um, option and you can put a page down and you will come across your follow me which is going to be pretty close to the bottom uh, let's see vehicles here's your auto drive and there we go follow me okay now to engage it you want to write control F Okay, I always thought it was left control F, but it's right control F. That will engage your uh, follow me. Okay, and just a quick breakdown. If you do left or right control S, W, D, and A, it's going to offset your distance and your offset from the tractor that you are following. 
and there's a few other settings here you can kind of play around with. Okay, first thing you want to do is get into this back trailer tractor and get it turned on and start it up. And then you engage the follow me. So you click your control, right control F, and it's going to give you your distance. Oh, uh, let's see. Did I not engage it? How far back is it? It's set at 30 feet, I think. Okay, we need to... Oh, I did not get it. Let's let's go jump back into the back tractor. It it is set up starting. Oh, it didn't it didn't engage. Let's pull back up to it and click your right control F. And now it's engaged. It had that little um, green arrow or the little white arrow with the 30 behind it. So that's 30 feet. Let's see how far back 30 feet is. Okay, it's taken a while to engage. Okay, uh, yeah, now it's starting to follow. That's pretty far back. I like to have it a little closer. Let's uh, should we? Let's jump out real quick here. Oh, I just used my tab button to cycle between. Okay, let's let's click on your uh, right control and then W, and that's going to move us closer. So now it's 20 feet back. That's a little bit better. Now let's drive. Yeah, see, now it's following us. It'll be following us a lot closer than what that 30 was. You can always make it even shorter. I'll probably run it at, like, 10. Especially if I get a third tractor that's going to have something, you know, following that. Right now I don't have the money to do it, so what I'm going to do is I will do these two tractors with uh, these two implements, then I'll get the one that does the rows, and then I'll get the, the baler will follow behind that so I can keep to these two tractors. And then once I sell some of those bales, then I'll have a little more money to maybe get another tractor. But I need to have money for harvesting right now I'm in May, so as you can see the two fields beside me, they're in their growing phase. Okay, well this is just to kind of give a little oversight on um, how to use the Follow Me mod, how to find it. Uh, it's pretty important. It, I'm surprised I haven't had it sooner. Uh, I remember looking for it, but it wasn't out yet uh, last time I tried to find it. So, okay, well thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please do that right now. I do a lot of different kinds of videos, so f hopefully you can find something that you enjoy watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought, or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.